What's up, YouTube? Mike from Mass here. Mass Aquariums, although this is not an aquarium video, this is a little hack video, little how-to on getting rid of fungus gnats. These are my three citrus trees. I've got the lime in the middle and the key lime in the middle and the two Meyer lemons on the left and right. They've been outside all summer. I live in New England, so you have to bring citrus trees in for the winter. It helps if you put them in front of a south facing window because they need really need like a minimum of six hours of light a day. I let them grow wild all summer long, get real nice and healthy, get those trunks nice and thick. And then I prune them right before I brought them inside, looking to get that nice ball on top and give them some strength for the branches to produce fruit. Interesting, interesting enough, when I did bring them in two weeks ago, the lime key lime bush started to flower so shortly i will have some limes hopefully some key limes well not shortly probably in a few months but you never know but they're looking really good and really healthy for this time of year um it's important to prune them and to take care of them if you want to get some fruit but with a lot of house plants that are brought from outdoors indoors, I do have some fungus gnats. They really like moist soil, and when you're, they're outside and you don't have any control over, you know, I'm not going to drag them in the house every time there's a light rainstorm or something comes by, but I have fungus gnats, and I'm going to get rid of them. I'm going to show you how I do it. I've done it before, and I figured, why not? Maybe someone else would want to know. So enough blubbering and blabbering, and let's get to it. Um, so... Citrus trees in general do not like uh, wet feet. They don't like their, their roots to be wet. So you really want a dry soil anyway. Um, what I've done here is I've covered the top layer with these nice sort of decorative rocks. That'll keep the top layer moist. You want like the top one to two inches dried out to get rid of your gnats. Um, and there's two things I'm going to do here. One I'm going to do is I'm going to put these sticky traps for the adults i'm going to peel this off this is the sticky part this just you know sticks in we're going to stick peel it off and we're going to stick it right in there like so and i'm going to do that several times um, once they fill up i'll throw them away and do it again and to so that's going to get rid of the adults um, to get rid of the eggs that they lay i'm going to spray this all natural fungicide miticide insecticide called neem oil now a lot of videos if you watch you're going to see neem oil used a lot for things like this um, i do spray it um, as a fungicide and an insecticide miticide on some of my garden plants if they're out of control another good thing is ladybugs you want to pile ladybugs in your garden they're going to eat all sorts of tiny little bugs and amphipods and all that crap but so we are going to put one of these traps in each of the pots and daily I am going to spray the all the surface of the rocks and let it soak in with neem oil in hopes to kill the eggs and I've done this for about a week and as you can see there's you would be able to see little gnats flying all over this these rocks and it looks really great so far um, so let's put these in here and I will fast forward to what they look like in a couple days and I'll show you. Okay. All right, folks. So as you can see here, a couple days later, the traps are completely covered in those nasty adult fungus gnats. Um, I'll probably replace these sometime today and continue the process for like a week or two until they're completely gone and we're rid of our gnats. Um, I'm spraying the neem oil again once again this neem oil I'm spraying daily um, to get rid of the eggs should kill the eggs slowly slowly the adults will get trapped no more babies fungus gnat problem solved I've got the rocks on top here so there's no open soil and I'm gonna let the continue to let the top half of the soil dry out is what really you want to do um, and you don't want to overwater your citrus trees by any means because they don't like a wet foot also known as they don't like wet roots they don't like to be soggy you want to let the soil dry out interesting interesting enough too when i brought these guys indoors for the winter here in new england the lime my key lime bush started to flower so 
pretty soon we are going to get some limes here. Be nice to have a fresh lime. Pick it off the tree, throw it in the glass of Patron, good to go. All right, folks, so I will post a link to the stuff I used in the video, and I hope this little tip helped. I will catch you later. I'm out.